everybody. It's Connie's Crochet Couch, and I have a yarn haul. I have been waiting for a month to get this yarn. It's actually orangish. It kind of looks peachy there, but I don't know about you, but I can't read that. And I don't read this either. I have 10 balls of this beautiful little cotton yarn. I don't know what else is in it because I can't read the label. But it does say dry in the shade, which tells me it might be sun sensitive. Para unfold arid. I guess that means lay it flat. It says machine wash, no chlorine bleach. Well, that's okay with me. If you read Chinese, this would be, yeah. I ordered this from a site called Smiley's Yarns. And I ordered 10 of these little, whoop, one of them just went AWOL on me. See that empty spot? <laughs> I got 10 of them. They are beautiful. They're not exactly the color I expected. Like I said, they're more orange than pink. But they came in this cool bag. Is this the right one? Yeah. They came in this cool bag. Let me cover up my address on it if I can. Okay. There's the cool bag they came in. It's black plastic. It looks like a trash bag. All the way from China in a black trash, pa trash bag. I thought that was just so crazy. It's, it, you can hear it. It's black plastic. <laughs> and then I also got this package today, which is exactly what I wanted. And I wasn't sure if it was going to be. Because previously I had ordered yarn please excuse the crinkle of the plastic, from Kuka Yarns, and we've gotten this yarn from Kuka Yarns, but they only had four of them. It was going out of business thing, or going out of clothes out. They only had four of them, so I thought, oh great, I'm never going to be able to finish a shawl with just that, so I did some looking. I've I look for summer yarn, and I found it. Yarn art! Yay! I don't remember which company I ordered this one through. Might have been Amazon. Yarn art. It's 70% mercerized cotton, 30% viscose, 370 yards. I'm sorry my camera shakes. I shake. I have a tremor. And it's a number two yarn, which I agree with. It is a number two. And it's beautiful. And when I ordered it, I took a chance because I wasn't sure what I was getting. Because it didn't look the same at all. It looked a lot darker and it looked like it had some blues in it and things that I did not want. Because it wouldn't match. But when I got it, it's perfect. This kind of goes to show you that even though they say you're getting a different yarn from a different company, just because it has a different label on it doesn't mean it isn't the same yarn. For the most part, I found that if you look at the label on your yarn and look to see the country of origin, like this one originally said made in Ukraine or something like that. I know that's where it came from. That you'll find that even if it says Red Heart or Caron or I don't know patents <laughs> if it looks the same it probably is the same yarn from the same mill because this is obviously the same yarn I got from Kuka Yarns at ICE I, I ordered from ICE and got Kuka yarns and this is obviously the same yarn I got from them and it's gorgeous you see this shimmer in it 
I see the shimmer in it. It's beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to make a very beautiful shawl out of this. And I got 10 balls of it. So, plus the four I already had. And at 270 yards per ball, I should be in pretty good shape. Um, I love it. It's soft. It is fine. Like I said, it, oops, if I get hold of it. It is a very fine yarn. It's just a little bitty stuff. But it's pretty. And it's got all these gorgeous colors in it. And that shine. The little shimmer that it has. That just sets it off. And I am so happy with it. Even if I did have to wait a month to get it. Anyway, oh, I wanted to show you the wrapper. It, this one came in a yellow bag. And it came from, this is what was funny when I answered the door. The delivery man said, delivery from Ukraine. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever gotten anything from Ukraine before. <laughs> but there it is. It says Ukraine. Yay! It came all the way from Laviska, Ukraine. It took a month to get here. I think I paid a whole dollar in shipping. This might have been one I got from Smiley's Yarns, but I'm not real sure. I know. I got it off Etsy. That's where I got this one. I ordered this one from Etsy. And that's where I got it. And the shipping was really, really cheap. And the yarn wasn't expensive either. I think I gave $1.50, $2 for this, which I thought was great per ball. So I am exceedingly happy. I've been waiting forever, and now I have a project to start with my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new yarn. My baby yarn. It's beautiful. I love it. But that's my yarn haul for the day. And that is very accurate right there, as far as the color goes. I wish I could get a good accurate on the other. Because it's more of an orangey color than it is pink. And it doesn't look that way on my video. I don't know, it's kind of weird why one yarn will come out perfect and the other one looks weird. But this is kind of a deep orange. Which is not bad, kind of an, almost a salmon-y orange. I just have to figure out what to do with it. It's cotton. I'm assuming it's a cotton acrylic because I wouldn't buy regular straight cotton. Not to make garments with. What I make, what I do is I make things for my all the ladies in my life. The ladies in my church and the ladies in my, that I know and family and friends. So I make things for them. I need to figure out how to put still pictures on these YouTube videos because that way I can tell you, I can show you some of the pictures of things that I've not made videos of. Because I've made some really gorgeous stuff. And I'm just a nobody. Don't ever get in your head that you have to be super talented to do this because you don't. I'm just a nobody. I sit here day after day after day adding weight to my well, you know, adding more width to my horizons, as they say. And in the process, I gain weight. And <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the last video I did was a, a sweater coat that I made for my mom. And I really didn't get a chance to explain it all to everybody, but it meant so much to her. Because she is on chemo, and it's it's kind of likely that she's not going to make it through this one. She's had cancer like seven different times. And I kind of feel like this is going to be the last one. She's probably not going to make it through this one. And she's starting to feel that too. Let's see if I can get this out of here and show you. I started this little thing. Oh, that's the back side. I'm not sure what it's going to be. But I made this, I think I made up this stitch. Can you see that? It's got, it's got little ripples in it.
See the, see how it ripples like that? What I did was I took put four single crochets and then a chain and then four triple crochets and then a chain and I left a space in between each grouping. And then on the next row I did the exact opposite. And then on the next row, it's like a two row repeat. Because you'll have one row of this, and then one row where it's the exact opposite. So you have the long ones and the short ones. And then the next time, you do the long ones on top of the long ones, and the short ones on top of the short ones. And you get this ridged effect by doing back post, uh, back post double crochets, or whatever they are, single crochets. You just go into the back post. And that's how you end up with that ridge. And I think I made this up myself. I'm using uh, Ferris wheel yarn. And it's, uh, let's see what the colorway is on this. It's uh, Morning Java. Morning Java. I love it. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Let's see, this is the yarn I'm do using. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty accurate as far as color goes. I'm sorry, my camera's not very good. But this is what I'm using to make this. Can you read that? Morning Java. If you could read it, that would help. And it's a four-way. And I am using the recommended size hook. Just because, because. It's 247... No, 270 yards on it, 100% acrylic. My sister gave it to me. She sends me care packages now and then. There was one time she sent me... I've got to get that video uploaded. Because I do have it on here. Of uh, when she sent me a care package. Oh my word. There was a lot of yarn in that box. And I had so much fun with it. But, this is getting long. And I really haven't said much. But I just wanted to share with you my yarn haul. Some from China and some from Ukraine. Isn't it fun? I love yarn hauls. I'll see you again sometime. Saying bye-bye from Connie's Crochet Couch.